You're welcome to the Economy and Politics Show. I'm Otu Abasi Abasekong. It is exactly four days to the inauguration of a new government in Nigeria to be led by General Muhammad Buhari, retired of the All Progressive Congress Party. In this edition, we bring to you the build-up and key statements from economic stakeholders in the country on what Nigerians should expect from the incoming administration. First, the transition program will be in full gear from today as security has been beefed up in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory and its environs. About 50 heads of government are expected to attend the May 29th event, which is symbolic for our democracy, while the United States will be sending a high-power delegation to be led by the Secretary of State, Senator John Kerry. While preparations are ongoing for the transition, Nigerians are having to grapple with a nationwide fuel crisis, which is adversely affecting the economy particularly the telecommunications, financial services, and other key sectors like aviation. Now to the expectations from the incoming government. First, we take the statement of the president of the Council of Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Aigboje Aik Mokwede, who was speaking in the business forum on the likely posture of the Buhari government. If corruption is such a major challenge in Nigeria, you would, of course, know that that same corruption as present in government would be present in the private sector. You, you understand? Okay. So I think, given what you know is coming, come May 29th, I think we are going to see um, probably one of the most important dividends of the change that is taking place in Nigeria, which is that the political economy context is going to change in favor of anti-corruption. So we move from a pro-corruption environment to an anti-corruption environment. That allows, that therefore then allows the reform that we are demanding of private sector companies in terms of governance to take root. Not because people are scared, but people will begin to understand that it's better for them. A very strong statement there. Now for boardroom guru and chairman of FBN Holdings, Dr. Oba Otudeko. The focus of the all-progressive Congress-led government on the welfare of the citizens will be critical. Let's watch further what he has to say. The incoming government actually made commitments with respect to a number of issues, including the economy. The welfare of Nigerians is very key. And I have no doubt that they would commit themselves to ensuring that the welfare of Nigerians is taken care of through creation of more employment opportunities for Nigerians and dealing positively with better redistribution of income and poverty elevation. Finally, for Africa's richest man, Alaji Aliko Dangote, there are key issues the new government must give top priority to boost the Nigerian economy. Here is what he has to say. I think one of the greatest uh, issues is actually for the government to uh, fight corruption head on and uh, for them to make sure that uh, they improve a lot on security and also to improve on power because there will not be any growth without power. So they need to really work on power. By the time they work on these three items, it will sort out the other issues of you know, unemployment you know, because you need to set up business to be able to empower people or to employ them actually you know if i don't have power there's no need for there's no way for me that i can even create any job uh, but once you provide power even somebody who wants to open a workshop somebody who wants to open a barber shop or saloon or whatever they have their own they are empowered to do so and it can easily double the gdp today you look at it 12 years of gdp growth of 10.6% of Ethiopia. That has been done because they have power. But you know, at the moment, we don't have power. You know, you look at a state like Kano, where they have 30 megawatts to be shared among 20 million people. That's equivalent to zero. You know, so we need to really work hard and make sure that this thing that has been very elusive, which is power, we need to get to the bottom of it and sort it out once and for all. Adverse, strenuous, rigorous, whatever you call it, the task before the Buhari administration will be enormous and Nigerians should expect drastic socio-economic reforms to move the economy forward. That will be all for this edition of the show. To gain further insight to our political economic discussions and analysis, 
Join us on our Twitter page, Economy and Politics, dedicated to analysis on economy and political issues in Nigeria. You can also visit our website, www.webtvng.com, for related videos and news updates. You can also get daily um, Nigerian one-minute news by logging on to www.prosharing.com. Till next edition, let's keep faith in our nation. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.